Hey y'all, it's your girl Jazz and I'm back again and I'm doing another video for you all. I'm super excited about this. Um, I love these videos personally and this video that I'm doing for you all is a sneaker haul or 2022 sneaker collection. I've been watching these videos of myself on YouTube and I'm like and at people's shoes like, okay, those are fire, you got some heat, you got some heat. Now it's time to do mine. Um, there probably will be a part two of this video um, put out soon. Um, next week's video, I'm probably going to do um, a sheet in haul for fall because fall is coming up pretty soon and I love the fall and the winter fashion so I'm super excited. If you guys are new, welcome back. Oh, my sister's calling. Um, and if you guys, well, if you guys are returning, welcome back. And if you guys are new, um, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys love this video. So without further ado, we're going to get into these shoes. All right. So um, we're going to start off some light, you know, some slight light. All right. So these are... Um, my Roshi runs. I don't know if people wear Roshi runs anymore, but I had these for a couple of years now, and these are a size six and a half in women. Um, super cute shoe, very light, very comfortable, and um, it's brown, and it has like this little pink detail on the inside. Very cute. I haven't worn these in a minute, but I need to switch my sneaker rotation around. Uh, next, what I have are these Converse, which were gifted to me. They're pretty dirty. I need to clean most of these shoes, but as you can see, um, my shoes are worn. But yeah, these Converse are like a maroon pair. Super cute. Pretty fire. Like them a lot. Next, I just got these recently, and these are the lug converse i should have done an unboxing video on these but i was super excited to get these it's still a plain shoe but it's really nice i just love it i just love the platform and how cute it is and i feel like black and white you can wear with anything almost so cannot wait to wear these i have so many shoes but i don't even go places crazy next i have these um vans and I got this from the van store outlet at my mom's house. Uh, the camera's set up so weird. Um, but these were, these are navy blue and different variations of blue, as you can see right there. Super cute. Um, and these are the old school vans. You can't go wrong with vans. So I feel like everybody needs a pair of vans in their sneaker collection. Just let me drop these down. And these are my go-to Air Maxes. They're just navy blue. And I would consider these my beater shoes because, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I just wear them all the time, I feel. And as you can see, there's wear and tear on the heels. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera. It should be. But yeah, these are just standard navy blue Air Maxes. I love Air Maxes. Can't go wrong. Um, oops. And then next, I have these Vans right here, and these are like, I don't want to say they're the classics. I can't think of the name right now, but if you know in the comments, let me know. But I just feel like these are really dope and cute, and I remember wearing these in high school, which was many, many, many years ago. Um, and I got so many compliments. As you can see, there is a, like wear and tear in the inside there. But I had these for a long time and they're still like, they look really good for me to have them for a really long time. Oh, and these are another beater shoe of mine, just some black, standard black and white Converse. I know y'all are wondering, where is the heat? Where is the heat? I want to get to it. Uh, let's see. Alright, so let's start off with these. Oh, shoot. Alright, so these are um, the orange Paisley Dunks. Um, these are really cute. I'm going to be showing y'all a lot of Dunks. Um, y'all have to watch part two for Jordans and other things like that. 
These are really cute. I haven't worn these yet, obviously. Um, I don't have like a lot of orange items, but uh, I gotta find a, I could find a really fire fit for these shoes because the orange is so pretty and I just love the pacing print. Very cute. Okay. Next, I have these dunks, which are like my go-to theater dunks, as you can see. Nothing, these are, um, excuse me, the San Antonio Spurs dunks. I actually had several pairs of dunks that I hit on the Nike app, but I ended up giving away, I mean, reselling them, not for a higher price, because I don't really overcharge like most resellers do. I try to be reasonable and gain like maybe $40 in profit, which is nothing, but if I know I'm not going to wear the shoe, then that's where I would resell it. But I had like the chlorophylls, which I sent back to Nike, which were called the Hermits as well. But I knew I didn't have anything green to wear with them. So that's why I sent them back to Nike. I didn't want to have a shoe that would, I was like, well, this is pointless. I'm not going to even wear this color. And then I had the pink foams, which I sold on Mikari. And then I had the free 99 it's, uh, dunks. I will try to insert a picture as I'm saying these so you guys are not like, huh, trying to go search for them. But um, if you know, you know. <laughs> All right. So next pair, I've worn these like maybe once or twice. And these are just the khaki pair. I know they had the olive lows supposedly coming out let me know if y'all are going to cop those in the comments but these i have a lot of green um clothing items like this like this khaki or olive color it's so pretty um i like highs a lot of people don't like um dunk highs I'm like, whatever I, if i like the shoe i like it i'm gonna get it you know not gonna be weird about a shoe i know but some things don't look right on a lot of people so, oh well. But next shoe is my favorite. Oh my gosh, I love this shoe. It is the Harvest Moon. And I actually purchased these from Go because um, they were all sold out on Nike. And I did pay like a little bit. Well, I think I paid $150 for these so that's not bad dunks usually range from $100 so yeah but I don't think spending two, over 200 on a dunk is worth it in my opinion I don't think spending $200 on shoes is worth it I always try to get myself my shoes well excuse me my shoes on retail you know it's just too much of a hassle trying to negotiate prices and if I don't get it I don't get it I'm at that point in life and there's a lot going on with the economy right now and you know nobody has time to be spending money on shoes you know but people have people have their things you know if, if it's your hobby it's your hobby you know what I'm saying but anywho back to these babies I cannot wait for the fall time to wear these it's like so pretty it's like this peachy brown color so cute oh my goodness okay and Oh, let me guys show you another Air Max. I have, wait, I'm missing another Air Max. I have these Air Maxes. Um, I don't know what they're called, but I got these on sale. And like I said, I have a lot of green and blue items. And I think the Sage is really nice in this shoe. And look at the bottom, so cute. Yeah, I didn't wear these yet, but I cannot wait to wear them as well. I feel like this is, this will be a good spring shoe, you know, and a summer shoe. And my personal opinion. Oh, next I have these Air Max Plus, which were gifted to me. These are so cute. And it's like military print and gray and pink. Super, super cute. Love these and just the laces on them. I did have a couple of more Air Max Plus. But I didn't wear them like I wanted to, and I was trying to downsize my closet. So I was just like, you know what, I'm going to sell these. But now I look back and I'm like, ah, oh, why did I do that? Oh, well. 
Um, <laughs> moving on, let's see. Oh, here are some blazers. Like I said, I had the pink foam shoes, well, the dunks, which were exactly like these. And then I had the little blazer sleeves. I love the blazers. This is a cute shoe. That's why I was just like, it wasn't no point of me keeping the pink foams when I had these blazers. It's the exact same, um, what is it? Colorway, but just a different shoe. So, yeah, and I like that the bottom's brown. It's like something's in there. Yikes. But super cute. Very cute shoe. Next, I have these pretty shoes. Look at the bottom. I know all the sneaker heads are shaking their head at me. For sure. Um, so these are the teal zeal dunks. I've worn these um, once and one time did this damage. It kind of looks like a gum bomb boom mix, mixed with um, a clear sole bottom or icy sole, how you say it, however you say it. But yeah, I don't like the bottoms of these because it's really hard to clean. So just be careful when you wear these or like if you have any bottoms like this. But this shoe I got from retail from the Nike app, and people call these the Miami Dolphins because you see that little orange detailing right there. Super nice and a very clean shoe. Love it. I'm just kind of throwing these back. Yeah, sorry, I'm going to be good. I'm good. Oh, I have another pair of Vans. And um, this is when I got um, the blue bands with along with these. It was like buy one, get one free at the outlet. So this is the classic slip one pair. Can't go wrong with these. Black and gray. Checkerboard. Super cute. Very comfortable. You know, if you're chilling, bands are always a good pair of shoes to wear. Um, next. I have these. And now, these are still available on the Nike app. I was shocked because um, I thought a lot of people were going to try to get this shoe. And I know it came out in gray, an alternate gray color, but these are the barbershop fair of shoes. I have not worn these yet, um, but they're super, I think they're cute. Um, this part really bothers me because it's just so thick and big right here, but you can always take that off. Um, they have these available grade school. These are also red and blue. Um, just one. Just one. So, sorry about that, guys. That was my daughter. She's just having a moment. Um, so, like I was saying about these pair of barbershop shoes are really cute. Um, I like the lining, little details on them, but I don't know what to wear these with, actually. There's actually a lot of details on the shoe now that I look at it more. Like red Nike, red Nike right there. It's a really nice shoe overall. Next. Also, these came back out on Nike, which I have right here. I got these the first time they came out, and I just won't like the mint green on it. It's a super dope shoe. Very cute. I like the blue on it, and I like the bottom, and the tongue's kind of like it. And these are available on Nike, too. I think these are underrated, honestly. They're super cute. Okay, and now I'm going to get to the neutral dunks I have, which are these gray and white ones. I think these are, uh, I can't think of the name right now. I'll probably put it on the screen more than likely, but I can't think of the name. Super cute shoe, very comfortable. You can wear it with a lot of stuff. It's like having a white Air Force One, in my opinion. Alright, so we're down to the final two, last two pairs. I'm super excited to show you, which these pairs are like my highs. I have these crimson tints, 
I don't know why they're showing like that, which are kind of like this peachy pink colored and maybe like an off-white cream color. Um, it's hard to find stuff to match with these shoes because the color I feel is so unique. Um, but it's a really nice shoe. It's a high pair of dunks. And then next, I have my one of my favorite dunks, which are the aluminum dunks. It's so cute, which I got off of the Snickers app. I was surprised when I got these. I was just like, you know what, if I get it, if I get it. If not, I'm not tripping over it. But, yep, that is it that concludes part one of my collection if you guys want to see more sneaker videos give me a thumbs up let me know in the comment box please comment like and subscribe to my channel also if you want to be notified um whenever i post another video make sure you push those notifications or push that notification button Thank you guys so much. You guys have a blessed day and a blessed week. And remember to smile and be positive. Thank you.